going to be showing you guys everything I bought during quarantine. Half a year has gone by already and honestly I feel like I've been wasting so much time. Well, one of the things that sort of helped me fight this boredom <laughs> was buying things online. So in this haul, I have some that are store-bought and also some that are thrifted. And there are a lot of pieces that I'm thinking about altering just to fit me better. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that also. So starting with the first item, I have this super adorable pink dress. This is actually from Shane. I try to avoid these kinds of brands as much as possible just because of their ethical ways. I think it's okay to buy from these sort of fast fashion brands only sometimes just because of how affordable it is. And for some people, buying from sustainable brands is economically impossible. But I got this one because my friend was shopping on there and I wanted to get a matching dress with her. I really love the puff sleeves and the overall silhouette. It gives that prairie girl look that I love so much. And also, it's in my favorite color, pink. So the next top I have is from Urban Outfitters. I got this one because of the Renaissance vibes it gives. It has this beautiful vintage floral pattern and I really like the little detailing in the front with the cutout lace. And also at the sleeves, I added an elastic to cinch it up to give it a bit more shape. Next, we have this beautiful top from Eggy. Again, this gives us a little prairie girl in the valley and renaissance vibes that I love so much. And I always wanted to buy something from Eggy. If you don't know what Eggy is, it is from Jen I Am's clothing brand. And I always wanted to support her, so I finally got a top that I love so much. And this is honestly such a cute top. It's one of my favorites in my closet. I got it in a medium, but it was a bit too big. I should have gotten it in a small. But to fix that, I took some fabric from the sleeves just to make it go a little higher and also from the sides to make it more tight. I got this beautiful corduroy pink dress. It is originally from Topshop, but I got it secondhand from Depop. And you can also follow my Depop at Ali Anson if you want to shop some stuff for my closet. This is the perfect dress to overlay over a white top. And this is also super cute. I love the buckle details and just the overall fit. And it has pockets. <laughs> I love a dress with pockets. <laughs> so it's September right now and the cold weather is already approaching in Canada. It's already like 15 degrees outside right now and which means summer is over. So I realized I don't have many warm, cute cardigans or warm sweaters. So I bought this one just for that. This is a beige sweater and it has puff sleeves, which I love. This is really nice to pair with a cute little skirt and it'll keep you warm during the cold season. So this next piece is a piece that is very dear to me because it's from a sustainable brand called Petite Studio NYC. So they actually had this huge sale on their Instagram. It's actually my first time participating in these kinds of sales. So basically what they do is that they post on their Instagram the things that are on sale and you have to DM them with the piece of clothing you want and your size. And then once they reply to you, you have 10 minutes to buy the product and if the 10 minute runs out, they go to the next person. So it was very competitive, very stressful, but it was actually very fun. And what I got from that sale is this beautiful jacket. It is made out of 100% wool, so it's going to keep me warm during the winter. And what I love the most about this jacket is the color. It's in this beautiful mauve color, which is one of my favorite colors right now. And for those who are wondering, I'm still planning to move to Japan. And their weather over there is a lot warmer than over here in Canada. So I got this jacket especially for when I go to Japan. And also the original price was $300, but it was on sale for just $99. So speaking about sales, there's also been a end of season sale recently on almost like all the sites. So the first brand is one of my recent favorite brands. It is Pomelo Fashion and I got these two skirts. So the first one over here is this midi length gingham skirt. I found that this one too sort of has that prairie girl vibes that I really like. And I love the ruffle bottom at the end and also the buttons on the side. And the second skirt I got is this beige circle skirt. This one is a bit more modern. I've been looking for skirts that are a bit on the lighter shade, so this one was perfect. Another piece of light bottoms that I got are these jeans that are actually from Costco. <laughs> if you guys know me, I never wear jeans, but these ones were on sale for only $15 and they're also from Calvin Klein. chair just broke. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got a new chair. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, um, since we're not able to try on clothes in stores anymore just because of Miss Weedisu, 
I don't know if these would actually fit me and I don't really like how jeans look on me That's why I don't wear them But these are a bit more on the baggy side and they fit me really well They're just a bit loose on the waist, but with the belt I can cinch it up I decided to make a couple adjustments to this pair of jeans First I made it a bit more high-waisted by sewing the crotch one inch lower And I also sewed in the sides by half an inch so like that they'll fit me perfectly at the waist These next pieces are from the brand called Dynamite. So I got this asymmetrical black turtleneck t-shirt. So I've been quite into these sort of asymmetrical clothing just because of how unique they are. This one is not really my style, but it is fun sometimes to try new styles and experiment with new clothes. So next we have my favorite top that I got from Dynamite. This one over here. It is a beautiful gingham top with some puff sleeves. And when I tried it on, I found it was a bit too low cut for me. So I added these tiny ruffles around the bodice and it just adds that little touch of cuteness while also being more covering. So I've been wearing this top a lot recently just because, I mean, look at it. It's so cute. I'm in love with the lace detail and I really like how surprisingly soft it is. I thought it would be a bit itchy, but it's actually really soft and stretchy. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. For the last piece that I bought online, it is this linen blazer. So I've been looking for more outerwear to be able to wear during the colder season. So I thought this blazer would be a perfect fit for it. The only thing I don't like about this blazer is the fabric is kind of weird. <laughs> like the bottom wrinkles easily. I even steamed it before filming this video and it still has some wrinkles on the bottom. And it's abnormally heavy. I don't know why this is so heavy. Yeah, I really like the design of this. It's just maybe the fabric choice um, should be changed. <laughs> so now moving on to the thrifted things. I'm so happy Canada finally reopened their thrift stores and I've been able to go thrifting. And the first piece that I got are these super adorable beige shorts. These are one of my favorite pairs of shorts right now. And when I got them, they were about like four inches longer than how they are now. I cut them and shortened them. And I just love the flowiness of them and the cute little details with the buttons in the front. So you guys might know that I love florals. I love anything that has these tiny micro floral pattern. So I actually found a lot of those at the thrift store. So the first dress is this one over here. It has a beautiful sort of watercolor red flower print all around. It also has a bottom ruffle and cute little buttons in the front. And yeah, this is just a perfect dress for the summertime. And next, I got this blue men's dress shirt. I got this one because of the floral pattern. It has tiny little micro blue and purple flowers all around. And I'm actually going to be transforming this one. If this video gets too long, I'm just going to make a separate video for this one. So the next piece to show you guys is one of my favorite dresses at the moment. I have already posted a picture of it on Instagram, but it is this one over here. So the pattern is a bit similar to the first thrifted dress that I showed you guys. I actually bought this one at a different store than at the first one. If I would have bought this one first, I probably wouldn't have bought the other one just because of how similar they are in print. I honestly love the style of this dress. It gives off vintage vibes and it has this sort of, how do you call this? Like this sort of sweetheart neckline that I love so much and the humongous puffy sleeves. The only thing is that this is a large so the waist is a bit loose and also the neckline is a bit low for me. To adjust the neckline, first I turn the dress inside out and I'm basically going to sew this part together at one inch. I marked one inch from both sides of the seam and then I drew a curved line connecting the armpit to the one inch marking. Once that's done, fold the fabric at the seam and pin it down. Sew on top of the marking you just drew and that's pretty much it. Don't forget to repeat for the other side as well. floral piece to show you guys is this adorable silk shirt. So it's in this beautiful baby pink color and it has some gray flowers and branches all around it. I got this because of the silk fabric and just how shiny it is in the light and I like to style it just by making a little knot in the front. 
Next, I found this adorable sweater at the thrift store. What really brought my attention to this sweater was the little pink buttons in the front. I thought that it would be perfect to match my hair. And I really like this cute wide collar. And yeah, I just have another piece to keep me warm during the winter. So this next piece is another beautiful dress that I found at the thrift store. This one over here. Doesn't even fit in the full screen. <laughs> I love clothes that have tiny details on it. I find that's what makes a clothing piece unique. This one has a cute little trim all around the neckline and the back. It has these beautiful ribbon straps and also some peekaboo lace all across the waist and throughout the skirt. The only problem is that it's way too long for me. It is maxi length, but I'm just going to need to remove a few inches from it to be able to fit me correctly. After measuring how much I need to cut off, for me it was about 5 inches. I marked that all along the edge of the dress and cut it out with some fabric scissors. And now to hem. Fold the fabric in twice and pin it down. This is one of the most common hemming techniques called the rolled hem. Just repeat this for the entire edge of the dress and sew it down. don't own a lot of black clothing. I tend to go more for pastels and light neutral colors but this dress was just too beautiful to pass out and I actually like that it's in this beautiful black color. It's something new for me and I'm excited to have this in my closet. So these next two pieces are going to be the last ones I'm going to be showing you guys and these are both pieces that I'm going to make a transformation sewing video for. So for these pairs of jeans, as I told you earlier, I don't really wear jeans but I've been wanting a sort of mom style like baggy pair of jeans so I got this one that is way too big for me I'm going to make the waist smaller to fit me and I'm also going to be bleaching it to make it lighter and for this next piece, I'm actually going to put the inspiration photo that I used for this it's from the brand Chu, this Korean brand and I realized that the color yellow actually complements my hair really well so I've been trying to get more yellow pieces because I have zero in my closet. So I bought this one and I'm just going to transform it and make it into this cute ruffly top. So if you want to see the video where I transform those two pieces, make sure to subscribe to my channel like that you'll be notified when that video comes out. So yeah, these are all the clothes I bought during quarantine. Honestly, I think I bought a little too much, but it's kind of been my therapy during these tough times. So yeah, I really like the clothes that I got. I hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Bye.